Oh, Nancy, when you go get your horse, take her up. Okay. So now this way you've got to keep that outside leg flexing. Yeah, yeah. Push her up to it. Yeah, push her to it. Push her, push her, but don't let her know go left. Good. Let her stay straight. contact all this time. And now sitting top. Good. Spiral. Sink shoulder four. Keep your back. Keep your back. Keep your hands together. Good. And now half step. Keep your back. Whoopsie. Keep your back. Almost walk. Almost walk. And out. Keep the contact. Hands right at the girth. I'm, I'm sorry, right at the withers. Oopsie. Spiral in. Elastic feet. Turn the forehand. Turn the forehand. Elastic feet. And half step. Almost walk. Sit back. Sit back. Sit back. And now a little bit forward. And post. Outside rain. Shoulder four, shoulder four, let the trot flow a little bit more. Good. And posting, half step. Outside, yes. Half step. Good. And swing forward. again. And walking. Good. So for today, it was a little more effective at posting. Yeah. Um, so, no reason not to do it at posting. So, that was very good. Okay. All right. 
So let's see if we can get the other way into the house step. Okay, okay. then I want a camera. Now we might try this one again at sitting just to see. Shoulder four, shoulder four. So she's a little bit looking to the outside, Francina. Good. Now let's work a little your sitting on the 20 meter circle. Because it's a little bit the quality of your sitting that is upsetting her. Go to posting. Slow, get your tempo. Not that she's running. Slow down. Good. Think shoulder four, it will slow her. Shoulder four. Good. Shoulder four. Good. Now a little bit, you're braced in your body. You have to disconnect your hands from your body. Good. Shoulder blades back, tight core. Hands forward. Yes. Sit, 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 sit. Better. Now half step through your outside leg. Keep your core. Keep your core. Yes. Yes. And walking. Good. And say don't do it. We're doing it again. Stay together. Now, in the sitting, keep your core. Shoulder blades together. come to walk it's a, just a different uh, okay. it's another it's just as good and sometimes if you're doing it sitting walking is easier for her okay. good especially if you're working on your sitting good keep your core keep your core keep her on the bit keep your core keep your core left flexion a little bit left bend A little bit more forward first. Shoulder blade, core, 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 hands together. Hands belong to her, not you. Good. Now collect and half step, almost walk, almost walk, and walking. And walking. All right, not bad. That one wasn't quite as good, but we're going to let her be rewarded because it wasn't her fault. So you can do either two forward or you can do two to walk. One yeah. is, oh, okay. one is uh, more okay. collection, one is more forward. Okay. Better just set the neck. And sometimes if you're working on your own position a little, coming to walk, that's why I chose it, because coming to walk would let you reestablish your position. Yeah. Whereas going to trot more forward, your position better not have any mistake in it. Right. Okay. So if you think... Ooh, I'm working on my core. I'm not sure. Come to walk and go back to trot. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. If you're feeling like, oh my God, my position, we are so in sync, yeah. then let it grow. Okay. So always make that decision based on yeah. how you're feeling about your position okay. and how you're feeling about her position. And yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. That's your choice. All right, so let's have a look at the cancer. A little more on the bit, a little more, yeah, take your time, take your time, make her come round. Yep, don't go if she thinks she's going to pull upwards on you. Yep, good, keep outside rain, keep outside rain and flex left. Keep outside rain and flex left. Don't give, don't give on the right. She wants to pull it away. Then she wants to drift. So almost think time.
counter bend. Almost think counter bend. Counter bend. Counter bend. Keep it straight in the right. Keep it straight in the right. In the right. In the right. Good. Keep the right. Good. Keep the right. Keep the right. Keep the right. Good. Keep the right. Good. Keep the right. Good. One more circle. Keep the right. Good. At A, transition to trot posting. Trot? Posting. Uphill a little. Slow. Low. And sit. And canter from trot. Pull up. Good. Just want to make sure you can do it both ways. Outside rein. Not, don't hike up your left leg. Outside rein. Good. And back to trot. When she got, yes. And trotting. Trot. Trot. Uphill. And walk. A little bit that way. Now we're going to go once more from walk. Keep it straight. Keep it round. Don't go if she's not round. Good. And canter. Good. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Little half halt. Little half halt. Stay back. 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 Make her come back. Make her come back. That's all right. That was good walking. So, Francina, for right now, when you take it from trot, she gets a little too strong. When you take it from walk, it's a little easier for you. Yeah. The thing is, um, even though it's more advanced to do it from walk, which I love, but if you're going to show at a level below where that's what you do, you're going to have to get it from trot. Yeah. Plus, there is also, I mean, even in... Um, in I-1, you have to make a transition from canter to trot because they want to test and make sure you can still do a transition that doesn't require that much collection. Yeah. They test you to make sure you can. And a lot of horses at that level can't. So they blow that movement because they've been doing collection, 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 and forgot how to make a transition that is less collected, which the horse also has to be able to do. Uh -huh. So now let's have a look-see at the right. Now, for, just let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. we, we all, we know that in a previous training, what they did to indicate right knee canter was to bend her right. Yeah. So we deal with that a little bit because that's not actually the right way to be taught. The horse should be trained to be straight mm -hmm. and pick up right knee canter. But if you're struggling to get right knee canter, then you can just add that in. But think, I'm not letting the body get crooked. Do not let the body get crooked. So you really have to be straight on the outside. Good. Yes, and yes, what? No, just easy here, easy walking, get good tempo. She has to be giving to the left lane. Yes, and canter right there if you can. Flex the right. No, it's counter. Yeah, she just got this thing. It's so funny why they did that, I don't know. What did she do? No, no, she picked up left lane. Because she's so convinced that if she's not bent right, she that she can't pick up the right lane. So sit back. Yep, sit back, sit back, straighten on the left, straighten, 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 sit in the middle, flex her neck right, flex her neck a little right, keep it, keep flexing right till she gives, till she gives and catch her right. She'll, yep, she's walking forward till she's that leg yielding out, flex right, no, wrong lead, wrong lead, wrong lead, wrong lead. Keep the right ring. Keep the right ring. Turn her head. 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 Turn her head.
turn her head and chant it. Yeah, turn her head. Yeah, left rein, sit back, sit back, sit back, and back, and lift. And the, show, the front legs push upwards. Front legs push upwards. Front, yeah, sit back and trotty. And trotty because it gets a little too strong. And walking. And again, back to the right. And canter right. Good. Stay back. Sit back. Sit back. Sit back. Don't climb up her neck. Sit back and relax it a little bit. It's a little bit tension in your part. And then in her part. Yeah, good. So it's not perfect. Sit back, left side. Left side, left side, and walk. Good. So she's a little bit short in her right front. Can you feel that a little? She's a little bit short yeah. in her front leg. Yeah. Um, so this, this is put it there. We'll just try it one more time. So we get three. Well, she's a little bit short in her right front. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm not sure, but she's not striding out like she normally does. So let, let, let me watch the trot again. Trot? Yeah. Your toes. And then walking, and then we'll do one more canter. Press right, and canter. And then flex. Sit back, sit back, left leg, left leg, uphill. Good, better, sit back. Think that her front legs push up toward your shoulder. Her front legs push up. They push back and up. Better, better. They push back and up through the outside. Better. Yes, get that lift. That's better. Good, that's better. And trotting, that's better. Good. And walking. So, two things. When the footing is flat, which it is, then she doesn't have the same spring off the ground. Good girl. So there's nothing you can do about that. But you can make her do what we just did, which is to push back at you. And then she pushes back, and then her legs can spring more up in the air. Yeah, that feels a lot better. And that was better. That was definitely end. better. And then you have to remember not to be a passenger at Cantor. To really work it. To really work it. So we're still at the point where you have to have that little bit of bend that isn't totally classical. Who cares, you know, yeah. but that's she, otherwise she thinks it's counter right. In another year, she won't. She'll be so symmetrical that you won't have to do anything like that. Yeah. But for now, so that she gets the right lead, um, we're just going to have that little bit more bend than you would normally have yeah. if she hadn't been trained like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, it's so, so good, but then you've got to really think about those front legs pushing back a little in everything you do. You can think that's how you get a little bit more uphill uh -huh. gait, uh -huh. because when they push back, they put their weight back, which is what we're doing to go up the levels. Their weight goes further and further and further back. Yeah. And, um, um, it feels a lot better at the end there, a lot it better. It was much better. And what I'm noticing with her going to the right, it's obviously harder for her. She's not as balanced to the right, so she's really pulling on that outside rein. She's really trying to get that away from me. She, as we can tell, she was trained that way. Because she won't, if she's straight, she doesn't even pick up right in cancer. It's like not in her brain. So they trained her to be bent for the transition.
and someone or, so, or, or training that had her two bent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you can see where that doesn't lead to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, straighten it does. But because she was so schooled that way, we have to use a little bit of what she knows mm -hmm. and then adjust her a little bit gymnastically. And like I said, in a year's time when we're doing flying chains and stuff, see, because you can't do flying chains like that. Not be bent. Yes. Because right. how are you going to get to the other one? Right. Flying uh, changes require absolute total straightness and symmetry. Yeah. And if they, because they're not supposed to go right laid, oh, they're not yeah. supposed to be yeah. swinging their butt around yeah. or their shoulders around. Right. They're supposed to go right laid, left, left laid. Everything yeah. is straight yeah. in yeah. a narrow, very, very narrow screw. Mm -hmm. So we are slowly bringing her into that straightness. Yeah. And again, see, I saw her two times. So no worries, we just have to, we just have to, you have to use a little bit of that to say, remember, mm -hmm. um, Val, we have to go, we have to bend a little, but then we're going to straighten because it's really better. And then I really had to keep her straight on the outside range. She wants to really pull that. That's exactly she right. She really wants you, to pull yes, that away from that's me. exactly right. Because, but she was gymnastically developed that way. So you all are required to gymnastically train her differently. Yeah. So that she becomes symmetrical. Yeah. And then, and then you will know what we yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. In the good. meantime, just look down. Uh, or if you're someone else who's just having to tell you, because mm -hmm. um, there's no special way to know. Unless that shoulder's coming forward, you're not going to. Yeah, it's I know. Like it's hard. hard to it's know. really hard to tell. It's hard to know. I know. It's, it's when the shoulders jump forward that the rider can feel it. Yeah. Good girl. Okay. Well, that was good. The last one was really good. It mm -hmm. felt much better. Very good. Good, Nancy. Good girl. Very good. With your posting diagonal. Move forward into the bridal 20 meter circle. What? You don't have your thing on. Was it not working or something? What? You don't have your film thing on. Yeah, it is. It's on. But it's not on your arm. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's oh, you don't need it. The tag isn't working. Okay, okay. Okay, and let's go shoulder blades back. Now in the walk, we want to really, he's got to, yeah, he's got to come under and round. So short back and round the neck. Short back, come. Pick it up, but short, quick step. Short and quick step, yeah. And now round so that he doesn't toss his nose up. Yeah, it should be the opposite way. Round him. He has to come a little bit rounder so he's not stiff in his neck and hollow in his back. Bring shoulder forward. Yes? Yes, and keep him coming. It's right there that he says, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing what you're saying. Yes, I'm, yes, come on. He has to keep going. Come, he has to keep going. He has to, yeah, not too big, but yes. Come on, he has to, and not out the left. And round, and put him in front of you. Now he's going to the, your right leg is pushing him out the left, or he's pushing himself out the left. Left leg is not on. Left it leg should, on. It should be on? Okay. Yeah, because he's drifting out the left. Oh, okay. I, I thought you said he wasn't. No. Right. No, no. Left, right. Left, okay. left, right leg. Good. And round. Left leg. Round. So take him on the bit. Yes. He has to walk. On the bit, a little more. Yes, he has to give. He has to give. You don't give. Okay. You make him connect. Yes, you make him connect. And now go to trot posting. And you make this connection stick. Nothing is going to change in the connection. 
Good. Keep the connect. No, put your hands down where they were. Good. Make the connection. Yes, connect them. Don't disconnect. Rings are too long. Yeah. So we're, we're dispensing a little bit with bopping them in the mouth, okay? I want you to think his withers come up. His withers come up. Yeah. His front legs push him back towards you. Yes, push his front leg under his elbows. They push back toward you. Yes, and a little bit, yes, and not faster. And don't let go of the contact. Yeah, careful you don't bump him up. Good, contact, and now make the withers come up. Yes, don't let go. Good. Good, not too big. Shorten your range. Don't let the whole thing just swim away. Cross the diagonal. <coughs> Sit back, because you have to collect to make this. Yes, collect. And then think, uh, think a little more forward. In the turn. Now the neck is like a hunter. Good. Good. A little rounder. Keep the connection. 20 meter circle. Withers up. Careful that you're not always letting go of the connection. It should be on your back. It should connect to your back. Keep your shoulders back. Lift his wither. Lift his wither. Yes, lift his wither. Not just his head. Lift the base of his neck. Yeah, good, better. Lift him. Lift the base of his neck. Don't shove him. Yeah, better. Very nice. But now, brains are getting too long. And then all of a sudden, the whole thing is kind of stop pushing. Get that corrected. And then... Okay, well, get it. now if you're at walk, you're going to have to fix the walk. Yeah, good. Good, and trotting. Sit. And now you're really going to think that the withers come up in front of your feet. And the hind legs come under, and the front legs appear or feel like they're pushing back at your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, don't be stiff in your arms. I, I, you can shorten your range. You can move your hands. Yeah, not high. Good. Now, wiggle your fingers a little. Wiggle your fingers. Yeah, wiggle your fingers. Good. And one, two. Wiggle your fingers. Good. Good, good. And down the long side, shoulder in. A little bit in front end, his, his, shoulder, his shoulders are dropping. Uphill. And left shoulder in. Shoulder in. Turn your own shoulders a little. Careful. A little more right rein. Too much angle. Right leg, right hind leg going way out. Yeah, bring the haunches back in. It's difficult in the open side. But now walk and reorganize because then he gets a little bit strung up. But do, do reward him. I miss what you were saying down there. Um, the haunches are going out a little yeah. on, when, when there's no fence. Okay. See, because here, on the, over here it was pretty good because the fence is there. But when you got to the open side where there's no fence, uh, he drifted his haunches out. You, you need to put your right leg back on that shoulder. Okay. So is that making sense about lifting the withers and the shoulders?
garden. Go the other way. 